क्या क्या चीजें होनी चाहिए लेट्स सी दिस लेट्स मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ व्हाट ऑल इज रिक्वायर्ड इन अ कंप्लीट आंसर इन अ व्हाट ऑल इज यस हाँ हाँ ऑब्वियस दिस इज इन जनरल आई एम नॉट जस्ट टेलिंग यू फॉर दिस एवरी वेयर वेर यू हैव टू राइट even when you are writing a book also or chapters in your book you will follow same method of you know thinking and brainstorming and this is a very generalized simple what is practical and what can be done by you i'm just discussing that much what all is requ required to make an answer what ab ye aristotle aur plato ko puchoge to wo virtuous answer likhegi good answer answer complete अ गुड आंसर राइट एक्चुअली गुड को हम लोगों ने बहुत वो कर दिया डिग्रेड कर दिया नहीं तो गुड के ऊपर बेटर और बेस्ट भी आ गया है बट उनके लिए तो गुड था आइडिया ऑफ गुड रिमेम्बर आइडिया ऑफ गुड इज द अल्टीमेट आइडिया नथिंग बी ऑन गुड सो गुड आंसर सो नीड नॉट फर्दर बी नो क्वालिफाइड गुड नीड नॉट बी फर्दर क्वालिफाइड बट इट इज बींग क्वालिफाइड एंड वी हैव बेस्ट नाउ अब द गुड एंड बेटर ऑल्सो अब दैट Yeah, whatever. So many brilliant, excellent, so many ideas have come. So, so established standard. So, what all is making? What all is there? So, first and foremost, there has to be content, right? Content should be appropriate, appropriate, and it should be specific to the requirement of the. question and it should be relevant also that means in order to support also whatever is specific to the question you should only write relevant things and not irrelevant arguments or irrelevant things or jiska kuch connect hi nahi hai wo likh rahe ho abhi dikhaunga aap logo ke answers mein bahut sara irrelevant statements hai you know you are writing the point but explanation is irrelevant you will you will understand that i have written those comments also and i will share some of the answers with your permission the good and the bad ones also but good ones i will openly can share from my side but bad ones may i don't know if you people have will have reservations so i will not share <laughs> but good answer something good i will share it okay Con content hona chahiye perfect content is like half the work is done if your content is correct you know If your content is correct and according to the requirement of the question, or your language is not good, your expression is not good, handwriting, handwriting, me, it should not be enough to understand that I have to read. I have to understand the content. What is it? This should be enough. Otherwise, it becomes very difficult. So, at least you will be given thirty, forty percent marks. So, it will come. Thirty-five percent marks, say forty, thirty-five to forty percent marks. So, it will come. So, this is the most important thing. अगर इतना आपने कर दिया मीन्स यू हैव यू यू नो द टॉपिक यू अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन दैट मीन इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड यू आर आल्सो एबल टू जनरेट पॉइंट्स सो 40 परसेंट मार्क्स इज देयर फॉर यू अब दैट यू हैव टू रीच वेयर यू हैव टू रीच अप टू 60 65 परसेंट एंड वाई सिक्सटी यू कैन रीच इन यू टू टू एट्टी परसेंट इन समर क्योंकि किसी आंसर में आपको ट्वेंटी परसेंट भी नहीं मिलेगा कुछ ऐसा भी क्वेश्चन होगा ना एक क्वेश्चन आपका छूट ही गया तो क्या करोगे दूसरा जीरो मार्क्स आ रहा है सो यू विल हैव टू लाइक एट्टी सम क्वेश्चन यू शुड टारगेट फॉर एट्टी परसेंट वो एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स कैसे आएगा अपार्ट फ्रॉम कॉन्टेंट देर हैज टू बी अ प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन और प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन का मतलब क्या होता है आई थिंक दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच इज लैकिंग इन मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट दे नो द कॉन्टेंट वेर दे आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सप्लेन इट प्रॉपरली explain explanation mein language will play a role right but it is not only about language it is not only it is also about your understanding if your understanding is clear no if your concepts are, are clear you will be able to give proper explanation for everything so explanation need to have clarity it sh there should be clarity and coherence hona chahiye फॉलो अप होना चाहिए एक के बाद स्टेटमेंट फॉलोड अप स्टेटमेंट ठीक होने चाहिए ऐसा नहीं वो रैंडम पहले कुछ लिख रहे हो फिर कुछ लिख रहे हो फिर कुछ लिख रहे हो ऐसा भी किया है बहुत लोगों ने फ्लो होना चाहिए यू हैव टू प्रोग्रेसिवली यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन वन आफ्टर द अदर देर हैज टू बी वॉट आई से फ्लो इन द एक्सप्लेनेशन 
right the examiner can read your answer like with a uh, without any hiccups in between no unstoppably like ek bar shuru kiya padhna bas aaram se pura pad liya aisa hota hai na like ye booklet pad rahe ho bahut sare paragraphs fas gaye samajh mein nahi aa raha hai kyun clarity nahi hai kyun nahi hai kyunki complicated statements hai aur agar aapne answer itna smoothly likha hai clearly likha hai कि एग्जामिनर को एक बार में पढ़ा तो पता है कि रेलेवेंट कंटेंट है जो पूछा है वो एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है विद अ प्रॉपर फ्लो एवरीथिंग हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन सो देन दिस मैटर्स अ लॉट बिकॉज व्हेन आई एम करेक्टिंग द आई मीन इट्स बीन सो मेनी इयर्स आई हैव बीन इवैल्यूएटिंग द आंसर्स आई मीन आई विल ऑलवेज द फर्स्ट थिंग आई नीड टू सी दैट दैट हैज टू बी अ फ्लो इफ फ्लो इज देयर देन आई एम इजीली एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज रिटन व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से राइट तो अगर ये दोनों चीज है ना तो आई जनरली गिव मोर देन 50 55 परसेंट मार्क्स इफ आई एम एबल टू रीड ऑफ कोर्स अगेन आई एम सेइंग दैट नाउ इफ यू विल मेक माय वर्क डिफिकल्ट बहुत सारे यू नो दो बातें एक तो होता है कि हैंड राइटिंग इतनी खराब है कि आप पढ़ ही नहीं पा रहे हो और उसके बाद फ्लो इतना खराब है कि आपको इतना दिमाग लगाना पड़ रहा है समझने के लिए कि लिखा क्या है कहना क्या चाह रहा है बंदा पहले कुछ फिर कुछ फिर कुछ and you don't understand that it becomes difficult clear proper explanation third thing that should be there is flow hona chahiye aur abhi to toppers ka bhi copy mein kya hai ki achhi baat hai but thoda sa uh, optional mein aur gs mein thoda difference hota hai theek hai na kyunki <coughs> gs mein kya hota hai ki बहुत सारा फैक्ट्स आपको लिखना है तो सब डिस्कनेक्टेड स्टेटमेंट रहते हैं लेकिन ऑप्शन ऑप्शन में क्या होता है आपको एक्सप्लेन करना होता है इश्यू तो स्टेटमेंट के बीच में कनेक्ट अच्छा होना चाहिए राइट right? अगर आप पॉइंट फॉर्म में भी लिख रहे हो तो फिर एक बात और है इवन इफ यू राइटिंग इन पॉइंट फॉर्म लाइक आई विल आई विल टेल यू आई डोंट नो हुज कॉपी दिस इज सम रोट एन आंसर विट I don't know this. Whose whose is this? Is this yours? No. Whose copy is this? I don't know. Someone submitted. Now, in this, you guys see. One one statement. Me, right? This much of one point. It's not big. Right? This much. This is one point. This much is one point. Now, do you require one point like this one paragraph? And this answer has gone into like three, four, four, five pages. Huh? No point. You are writing. So, briefly and compact. Write it. और ब्रीफ और कॉम्पैक्ट कर में ऑप्शन में यू हैव टू हैव अ वेरी गुड कमांड ओवर द लैंग्वेज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट और एनालिटिकल एक्सप्रेशन में एकदम अप्रोप्रिएट एनालिटिकल एक्सप्रेशन यूज करो आप एक सेंटेंस ऐसा लिखो जिसमें बहुत सारी बातें एक साथ कह दी गई मेनी थिंग्स हैव बिन हा हा बट वो पॉइंट में बहुत बार जो होता है ना कि उसमें भी ठीक है अच्छा है हाँ लेकिन वो हर बार मार्क्स नहीं आएगा उससे मैं बता रहा हूं आपको मैं जब बोल रहा हूं आपको कंप्लीट आंसर लिखना ना अभी एक टॉपर्स की कॉपी ऑपी पे ज्यादा ठीक है देख लो कई सारों को देख लो एक को देख के कभी फॉलो नहीं करना so, एक दो को हाँ हर बार चेंजेस होगा अब मैं तो आई आई एम चलिंग माई माउन पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस ऑल्सो लाइक आई हैव गॉट वेरी गुड मार्क्स इन राइटिंग टोटली पैराग्राफ फॉर्म एंड आई हैट गुड मार्क्स ऑल्सो वेन आई रोट इन पॉइंट फॉर्म इधर वेज दोनों तरह से होता है अब इंपॉर्टेंट ये सबसे बड़ा जो पॉइंट है ना वो पीपल फॉरगेट इज द कंटेंट टॉपर्स की कॉपी में कुछ भी हो कंटेंट हमेशा अच्छा होगा कंटेंट ये कि फैक्ट्स मिस नहीं होगा डायमेंशंस होंगे डायमेंशंस और फैक्ट्स बहुत जरूरी है आपके आंसर्स में जब ये खैर मुझे कंटेंट के साथ ही लिखना चाहिए यहाँ पे कॉन्टेंट में ही क्या है ना और बातें भी एक तो आप मैंने बताया आपको फैक्चुअल स्टेटमेंट होंगे ठीक है अनालिटिकल स्टेटमेंट भी होने चाहिए जो अप्रोप्रिएट होने चाहिए अलग पॉइंट में लिखते हैं थर्ड पॉइंट you can write here is that there has to be as many dimensions as many dimensions possible right so this point also you can say is something related to content only but something more we are expecting in the content is as many dimensions possible to iske liye aapko brainstorm theek se karna hoga theek hai or you should be able to not miss on any point important point agar baki logon ne panch point likha hai aap eight likho 10 likho relevant 
relevant 10 points. This creates the whole lot of difference. Right? Dimensions is, is very important. Next, fourth point is appropriate, appropriate analysis wherever required, wherever required. Appropriate analysis wherever required. Analytical statements chahiye to likhne padenge aapko. Point form mein bhi aap likh rahe ho, analytical statement likh sakte ho. Use analytical expression. Use of, use of proper analytical, analytical phrases. The use of analytical phrase is that they have the ability of telling something in brief. Instead of writing a paragraph on that, you can write it in four or five words also using certain adjectives. This is the beauty of the analytical phrases which can be used to cut down in terms of the bulkness of your answers. Now, two things are there. You think that examiner will not understand it, so I will explain. But if you will use the perfect analytical framework, which is self-explanatory also in itself, this analytical phrase is also to be self-explanatory. Right? So you need not to write the entire story over there as a big paragraph. You can just write the crux in very brief in five, six words, maximum a small sentence. This is, a, this is another important point, which and this is how you increase the dimension also. You don't have to write the answer in any place. How much will you write? You 10 points. Likhne hai. Sara ka sara us, the way I have shown you that paragraph, you cannot write like that, right? 10 statements, 10 paragraphs. So this is this is what you have to learn essentially, right? These two points are very baki to aap kari loge. Dego, isme kya hai na? Ki agar aapne subject thik se padha, aapne concept liya, na content aap generate kar loge. You will definitely generate content. But what you have to learn essentially is these two things. This is also easier. But ye bhi itna easy nahi hai. Ye isme kya hai? Isme kya hai? Isme aapko pura general study, jitna knowledge hai na, sab knowledge use karna hai. Don't think that you will not use knowledge of general studies for writing when you are writing a political science. You can use the knowledge of political science in general studies. Or you can use the entire knowledge of your life to write answers. Because that will help you to generate dimensions. And appropriate relevant dimensions in the answer. This ability you have to learn. Like I am very confident that if I will get a question to write, you know, I will definitely write more points than anyone else. On any of the question. No matter what. So you have to just come in that zone. Where you start feeling this. That you will be able to generate more dimensions. Analytical dimensions. Be. As a parliament, may, why the prime minister has to be from the Lok Sabha? Should, should he be only from the Lok Sabha or he can be from either house? Now, this question can come. So, how many of you have argument on this? That the prime minister can be from, should be from Lok Sabha only? Now, you can give a lot of arguments on this. It's better how much under, of understanding you have of political science. And even the, you know, the analysis in political science and you can create and do your own analysis as to why prime minister should be from lower house or why he can be from either house also. Are you getting the point? I will give you some good answer structure separately also. Okay. I will give it to you. Maybe related to some polity issues also. Okay. And something related to mostly section B because section B jo part hai na, section A mein answer likhna is easier. Section B mein answer likhna will be difficult. Difference is that in section A, you have to know what content you have to write. In section B, you have to create a lot of content in section B. In section A, you have to write what you have to write, which the theory has been given. But in section B, many times you will have to create. So, that will be a challenge. It is far easier to write. But then the thing is, how well you are prepared. Like section A, if you have prepared well, if your concepts are clear, then there won't be any challenge. But in section B, preparation is also a challenge and then the issue dealing with issues will also be a challenge. But there will be easy, it will, things will become easy that if you have studied a lot, you have a lot of understanding of economics, ka, 
social issues guys then it will become easier for you to write that but still this is something which is you have to put your conscious effort in developing analytical phrases jo baat aapko 40 words mein kehni hai the same thing you should have the ability of saying in 10 words also you should develop an ability of saying the same thing in a brief expression of 4 5 words also are you getting the point the the day you will start developing this like many times it happens you know we use certain terms like psycho political right techno political kuch realities ko hum aise phrases se explain kar dete to is tarah ke phrases kuch discipline se related phrases the words which you have used in those tables wahan se words aap use karke expressions ko bana sakte ho theek hai is on this only if you will work a little bit you know this part is the only challenging part a little bit of this if it comes in your answer you know then your answers will it will become perfect aur yahi challenge aapko jab aap padh rahe ho na newspaper maine aapko kya bola note karne ke liye newspaper jab aap padh rahe ho to maine aapko kya bola note karne ke liye phrases note karne ke liye bola hai kyu bola hai kyunki usse aapko samajh aaya ki words ko kaise use karna hai wo phrases ko agar aap even if you mug up those phrases also and you will start using those phrases in your answers your automatically your ability to develop or generate analytical phrases will improve so answer writing improvement skill is based upon this core thing only which you have to develop is the art of developing analytical phrases or maybe sometimes even explanatory phrases also i can say getting the point pehli baat to issue samajh lo kya hai kya kya seekhna hai when you will know what you have to learn then only you will be able to learn it and improve upon this will improve your writing isse kya hota hai once you start doing this you know then there will be more precision in your writing this will bring what fifth point we can write was precision precision in writing precision in writing means something which is appropriateness of expressions this is about appropriateness appro Appropriateness of expressions. This appropriateness of expressions you will be able to generate when you have the ability of creating analytical phrases. Exactly, जो चाहिए वही आप लिखोगे उधर. Right? I can. I will be showing you through answers also. just keep these points are important just keep these points noted with you okay and just try to put this in your mind remember these points when you are dealing with answers ab aisa nahi hai ki har bar answer karte time exam mein aap ye sochoge ye sab no this you are doing only for practice now and more you will just keep them into practice it will start happening automatically by itself apne aap hi create hoga expressions you don't have to put any deliberate effort एग्जाम में कहा टाइम होगा ये सब सोचने का वहां तो आप क्वेश्चन देखोगे फटाफट लिखना है तो वहां पे तो यू विल नॉट इवन हैव द टाइम टू राइट इंट्रोडक्शन और कंक्लूजन आल्सो मेनी टाइम्स बट यू हैव बिकम गॉट इनटू द हैबिट ऑफ राइटिंग इंट्रोडक्शन एंड कंक्लूजन कि आप ऑटोमेटिकली इंट्रोडक्शन लिख ही दोगे द योर स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग वुड बिकम सर्च दैट यू विल ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद एन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग स्टेटमेंट विद अ कॉन्टेक्स्ट दैट विल बिकम योर हैबिट राइट हैबिट ही तो डेवलप करनी है ना and on a reasonable basis i mean i'm been using again again all these people aristotle and plato and hobbes locke rousseau's ideas is also about like look at the what they are talking about human nature and the capacity of human nature and how it gets transformed theek hai ha hmm nahi jitna pehle kam se shuru karo शुरू तो कर देना चाहिए ना अगर आपने सिर्फ पॉलिटी पढ़ा अगर तो सिर्फ पॉलिटी के आंसर ठीक है उसमें कम डिमेंशन आएंगे अभी कम आएंगे बट करो तो शुरू तो करना पड़ेगा जैसे जैसे आप बाकी चीजें पढ़ते जाओगे वैसे वैसे आपके डायमेंशन अपने आप बढ़ते जाएंगे राइट right? और पॉलिटी में मोस्टली तो किसी पॉलिटी के आंसर में एट्टी ऑफ तो पॉलिटी की चीज होगी ना थोड़ा बहुत ही एक्स्ट्रा होगा सो आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड वेट शुड स्टार्ट राइटिंग स्टार्ट वर्किंग अपॉन राइट और अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू पीपल दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक ही क्वेश्चन को 
आई विल हाँ अभी मैं आपको एक दो क्वेश्चन फाइनली दूंगा जिसको मैं बोलूंगा फिर से लिखो उसको फिर से लिखो राइट राइट इट मेनी टाइम्स जैसे वो माखिया वाली वाला क्वेश्चन है ना मैं आप स्नेहा हैज रिटर्न एन आंसर इनफैक्ट स्नेहा हैड सबमिटेड एन आंसर अर्लियर शी हैज सबमिटेड एन आंसर आफ्टर वर्ड आल्सो उसने अच्छा लिखा था आंसर उसमें कॉम्पैक्ट राइटिंग है आई विल आस्क हर एंड इफ शी कॉमिस आई विल शेयर यू दैट वन अ पार्ट ऑफ हर आंसर इज रियली गुड लाइक द वे इट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड इज वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट सो दैट इज वॉट इन इज टू हैपन वो होगा तब आप रिपीट करोगे तो माखिया वाली वाला क्वेश्चन है ना वो रिपीट करना है अभी आई विल टेल यू रिपीट इट राइट इट अगेन नो एक बार और आप इवेल्युएशन के लिए दो मुझे पहले अपने से लिख करके सेल्फ इवेल्युएट करो उसको एक नेक्स्ट लेवल पे ले जाओ फिर लिख के सबमिट करो ठीक है चार पांच बार एक ही आंसर पे वर्क करोगे अपने आप समझ आ जाएगा कि गलती कहाँ हो रही है जो कॉमेंट्स रिमार्क लिखे जा रहे हैं वो कॉमेंट्स रिमार्क दोबारा नहीं आने चाहिए आपके यू शुड लर्न फ्रॉम एवरी कॉमेंट वॉट एवर इज देर दैट दिस मिस्टेक शुड नॉट हैपन अगेन वो एक बार हो गया ठीक है दोबारा वो मिस्टेक नहीं होना चाहिए बट होगा यू नो दैट बट स्टिल नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट इन योर आंसर्स देर हैज टू बी प्रेजेंटेशन नीज टू बी गुड राइट गुड प्रेजेंटेशन गुड प्रेजेंटेशन का मतलब क्या है गुड प्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स हैंड राइटिंग यू नो स्पेसिंग बिटवीन लाइन्स एंड वर्ड्स बहुत ज्यादा भी स्पेसिंग नहीं होनी चाहिए अप्रोप्रिएट होनी चाहिए स्पेसिंग ऐसी हो कि एक नॉर्मल पर्सन कैन इजिली रीड थ्रू इट उसको पढ़ने में दिक्कत नहीं हो प्रेजेंटेशन का पर्पज टू मेक द वर्क ऑफ द एग्जामिनर इजियर राइट लेट सी स्पेसिंग एंड वॉट एल्स इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ गुड प्रेजेंटेशन एनीथिंग एल्स गुड प्रेजेंटेशन इज मीन्स दैट ट्राई टू बी डिसेंट डिसेंट इन द सेंस डोंट यूज टू मच ऑफ कलर ओवर देयर just use your black pen blue pen black blue pen even i won't advise to use pencil in your political science paper i won't advise pencil to be used in your political science paper even if you have to draw some diagram or flow chart or anything draw it with black pen or blue pen also don't use pencil in gs paper you use pencil i will not advise use of pencil okay ब्लू और ब्लैक पेन से लिखो डायग्राम भी बनाओ गुड प्रेजेंटेशन विल इंक्लूड ऑल्सो प्रॉपर प्रॉपर हेडिंग्स हर जगह अगर पार्ट है क्वेश्चन में तो उसमें भी आप हेडिंग दे सकते हो जहां पे रिक्वायरमेंट हो राइट पॉइंट फॉर्म में भी आंसर लिख रहे हो तो हेडिंग अगर जरूरत है तो हेडिंग लिखो अगर एनालिटिकल स्टेटमेंट है क्रिटिसिजम का हेडिंग की जरूरत नहीं है नहीं लिखो बट यू नीड टू अंडरलाइन द की underline keywords and express and phrases key 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 phrases underline key phrases and keywords you underline karo agar paragraph form mein bhi likh rahe ho answer agar point form mein likh rahe ho to shayad kam zarurat hai lekin paragraph mein so you have to be more you know careful about this doing this okay then seventh is language language and expressions ye bhi appropriate hona chahiye appropriate means the way it is required the way normal language is there ek bookish language hai wahi language aap use karo answers likhne mein bahut zyada kuch flowery nahi karna hai kuch jagah pe kar sakte ho i will tell you where you can do in writing conclusion you can become a little more flowery not in your introduction and body right so language and expression and minimize minimize i won't say zero minimize grammatical error minimize grammatical error kam se kam careful about punctuations careful about bahut sare log punctuation pe careful nahi rehte some people will you know put a full stop here and the first letter also is a small letter to ye sab cheeze matlab this is something i don't expect like people who are writing at this level will do all these mistakes so careful about punctuations right you see where semicolon is to be used where comma is to be used where you can use colon 
even sign of exclamation whatever is appropriate punctuation that should be used that's also important it leaves an expression try to make the language as far as neutral no neutral language neutral language means language should not be racial language should not be send a sense of superiority it should not reflect any egoistic tendencies it should not be like i told you, you know don't use the word i i or me and yeah, that will make it neutral language even if he or she you are using some people will say use she instead of he because that will show you that you are more gender sensitive so don't use the word he for parliament right you saying instead of writing any like use use the word she or better use it why to use he or she maximum yeah one you can definitely use so instead of he said one may or someone like say one may say don't no, no no i say one may say that's a neutral language so please be careful about this neutrality it can be gender neutral somewhere you have to write he also if you side by side write she as well it will be more appropriate he or she or she or he is more but when you are write he or she may is better you write she first and he afterwards but if you will write only she no it is still i would still better that you better write he only but the moment you write she that means it's a this is a political it becomes political but a lot of people do that she usme koi galat nahi hai but some people may be having a particular mindset so usme i will still say that he likh lo he will be is taken for granted ho jayega but she means you are definitely want to make a point that you are feminist i have some woman who's not as feminist is going through your copy then they will be definitely will note that he will not go notice but she will get noticed okay she will get noticed so be just careful about this better to use either he she both or use as much of it or neutral language is everywhere as far as possible language mein kahin bhi is tarah se nahi hona chahiye na is sending a signal against some race caste religion ye wo that also you have to be careful when you are using the expression clear seventh point eighth point well laden with some of the points i am not, not written in content some of the points i have mentioning separately but you will understand what is part of the content well laden with facts well laden with facts and support arguments right maybe evidence wherever you can give some evidence reference of report reference of report or some reference of some report or reference of some credential some creditable authority or academician creditable authority or you can say that uh, academic authority in case statements aap quote kar sakte ho quotations use kar sakte ho political science mein you have to use more quotations in political science this is even more important so even in paper 2 when you are writing your answer you should you'd use the quotation of thinkers to support right and it's not that you will use only indian thinkers you can use the western thinkers quotations also to support some of the arguments on issues even in paper 2 also paper 2 mein you'll anyhow be studying some new thinkers right who international theorists way but even paper 1 thinkers also you can use in your paper 2 give them quotations this is very important okay then can also draw diagrams or i will say some kind of frameworks right for some frameworks some geometrical arrangements you can show through diagram for making something clear right some process process related diagram bana diya फ्लो चार्ट बना दिया राइट दिस में इंक्लूड सम फ्लो चार्ट ऑल्सो इट कैन हैव ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स राइट सम काइंड ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिकल अरेंजमेंट्स लाइक वी हैव बीन यू नो कॉन्सेप्चुअल पर्पज के लिए हम वी यूज सर्कल्स मेनी टाइम्स कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल्स एंड ऑल यू कैन ड्रॉ राइट 
or this is like framework or some connectivity diagram can be drawn connectivity diagram aapko ye show karna hai ki iske andar bahut sare dimensions hain to iska dimension aap aise bana do theek hai idhar aap ya to likh do ya fir circle mein likh do alag alag karke is tarah ka diagram bahut banate hain a lot of people draw diagram like this but it's not necessary to follow this pattern you can change the style also you can have some different arrangement also and it's good to be be a little innovative because that is also a reflection you have been shows your innovation in the answer the way you are expressing yourself so your answer it looks good or complete right here only i will add use examples wherever possible jahan jahan pe example de sakte ho case ko mention karna hai briefly one line or ek line se zyada kabhi case nahi likhna no need like even if you writing a polity answer case hai case ka reference name of the case and briefly what has been said in that case no need to explain not required until unless the question itself is about cases aur agar is is general illustration write many cases but briefly only now case one bharti case pe hi question aa jayega then of course you have to write the details but cases ka reference should be as brief as possible briefly aapko pata hona chahiye issue kya tha what was the issue in this case what was declared that also in brief no one explain and this we will again do same uh, analytical framework aapko analytical phrase use karna aayega aap easily explain kar loge brief mein ki case kya tha hmm gs mein quotation mat use karo nahi use karo kyunki gs mein bahut rare case mein karo quotation use jab jahan bahut zyada relevant ho jaise हिस्ट्री uh, में या सोशल इश्यूज में कुछ क्वेश्चंस हो सकते हैं जिसमें कि आपके पास कंटेंट ज्यादा नहीं है लिखने के लिए जब कम कंटेंट है तो आप कोटेशन से सपोर्ट कर दो राइट बट जीएस में क्या होता है इफ यू विल यूज द कोटेशन यू बेसिकली विल ईट इनटू द वर्ल्ड्स ऑप्शन में तो जरूरी है क्योंकि तो ऑप्शन में तो वो आपका ऑथेंटिसिटी क्रिएट करेगा ना रेलिवेंस होगा उससे तो जीएस में यू नीड टू मिनिमाइज वेर एवर इट इज वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट एंड वेर दर इज लैक ऑफ कॉन्टेंट देर यू यूज इट एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स नहीं मिलेगा उससे पीएसआईआर ऑप्शन में मिलेगा एक्स्ट्रा मार्क कोटेशन लिखने से बिकॉज हियर इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स योर एकेडमिक होल्ड ओवर द सब्जेक्ट जीएस में आपको एकेडमिक होल्डिंग नहीं दिखानी है पॉलिटिकल साइंस में या कहीं और राइट right? जीएस में आपको दिखाना है कि एज अ जर्नलिस्ट यू आर एबल टू थिंक इन मेनी डायरेक्शन एंड यू कैन ब्रिंग एज मेनी डायमेंशन पॉसिबल हाँ एथिक्स केस में तो जहां पर करना है एक्सप्लेन वहां करना पड़ेगा एथिक्स में लेकिन देर ऑल्सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द केस बट इट इज अबाउट अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो देन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द केस शुड बी एज ब्रीफ एज पॉसिबल दिस डिपेंड्स अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन द वे द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट हाँ ऐसे में क्या केसेस नहीं मिनिमाइज द एक्सप्लेनेशन मिनिमाइज नो नीड इनफैक्ट ऐसे में तो रेफरेंस भी देने से चल जाता है क्योंकि ऐसे में तो आपके पास बहुत कुछ लिखने को है ना वहां पे तो आप केस डिस्कस नहीं करोगे ना केस डिस्कस करना इज अस थिंग नो नीड टू एलेबोरेट ऑन द केस जस्ट मेंशन रेफर द केस एज वाज दिस और केसेस ऐसे में लिखना उतना जरूरी भी नहीं है ठीक है एग्जांपल और केसेस का यूज ऐसे में आप एनालॉजी ड्रॉ करते हो ठीक है रेफरेंसेस देते हो लेकिन जरूरी नहीं कि एग्जाम्पल और केसेस बहुत सारे लिखो जरूरी नहीं कर सकते हो करना चाहिए कुछ कुछ बट बहुत ज्यादा नहीं ठीक है I hope we are clear with this also now. What is left? Language हो गया expression हो गया ठीक है और उसके बाद एक और लिख लो यू हैव टू पॉइंट नंबर टेन इज दैट देर हैज टू बी प्रॉपर यू नो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग नोट्स इंट्रोडक्शन एंड कंक्लूजन ये भी होना चाहिए प्रॉपर देन एडिक्वेट adequate analysis as per requirement of the question i am just putting all the keywords ki ye sab aapko dhyan dena hai analysis hona chahiye answer mein kuch questions in some questions answers will be more analytical in some questions answers will be less analytical right you have to see how much of analysis is to be done or required second uh, to another point is that you have to try to be you now try to give some suggestions or bring some new idea 
or some new perspective right in your answer this again depends on the nature of the question ab kuch question mein pucha hi suggestion hua hai to fir zyada suggestion likhna padega jahan nahi pucha hai wahan pe briefly likh do either you add it up in the conclusion itself or you write a brief paragraph before conclusion right if it has not been directly asked if suggestion not asked in question then what will you do you will include brief suggestive remark brief suggestive remark in the conclusion brief suggestive remark in the conclusion or just write it just a remark in the conclusion or add a brief paragraph very brief paragraph before conclusion right and in case of language also done with this much see when we have written language and expression have to be appropriate language and expression appropriate or yahan pe ek word add kar lo compact bhi hona chahiye but compact not at the cost of simplicity it should be compact yet simple compact ka matlab hai ki complicate kar do it should be compact without being complex without being complicated this is the art basically you have to learn simple language analytical phrases expression which will be self explanatory also and you know something which is clear also not complicated this is the only thing you have to learn the automatically the quality of the answers will go up isko seekhne mein time lagega baki sab to ho jayega baki to you just have the awareness it will happen right so here in with respect to language issue maybe i can just add it separately also as a point is we are supposed to you know 13 we should be a uh, use of with respect to language only i can just add here use of adjectives adjectives ko use karna aap log aur acche se seekho उससे लैंग्वेज कई बार कंप्रेस हो जाता है और बी केयरफुल व्हेन यू आर रीडिंग द न्यूज़पेपर हाउ द वर्ड्स एडजेक्टिव्स हैव बीन यूज्ड एंड आल्सो यूज ऑफ एडजेक्टिव सॉरी वी हैव समटाइम्स यू नो वी ट्राई टू राइट यू हैव मेनी पॉइंट्स राइट इफ दे आर टू मेनी पॉइंट्स too many points this is not not related to language too many points related to an aspect of a question not entire question mein bahut sare point hai likh do ek aspect ke upar hi aapke paas bahut sare point hai so don't write all of it separately you can club them together and write in one sentence right too many points related to an aspect of the question this can be clubbed together and written in a sentence or paragraph so bahut baar jaise acha this also will happen when you have missed some you know writing something in the beginning what happens is when you are writing the answer answer writing is such a such a thing like you have to actually learn it yes the uh, upsc main examination is all about that only you know aur abhi to is so much of challenge like so, 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 lot of practice is there no in answer writing these days people are doing so many test series this that 
So it's very important that you have to prepare on every front. You see, one thing you have to keep in mind, uh, this point is clear, right? You can club together different points using pro appropriate proper you know, punctuations together. Also, what happens many a time that you know, you're answering the question, you start writing. I have told you that it is better to think for one minute and then start writing. If you will think for one minute immediately, ki question kya hai, to aapko mein aa jayega, clearly. Fata fata uske dimension dimag mein aap soch lo, char paanch. Agar dimag mein nahi soch sakte ho, to piche last page pe rough work ke liye bhi hota hai space. You can just do a quick brainstorming, like five, six points like clear. Okay, now these are the points I'm going to explain. Now you have something, uh, some fodder with you to start with, to writing the answers. Because if you will not do this, immediately you will jump on to start writing. Then what is, what is happening? You have started writing, but at the same time, you're thinking what to write. So what will happen now? Now you have one paragraph of bullshit you have already written there, which doesn't have any meaning. It's just that you have just trying to create some background. It happens or not? Many a times. Like in your exam in university, this is the only thing you used to do to write answers, right? You're just writing all ir irrelevant stuff, whatever. But now you have to just think that what exactly is required to start writing. Achha, in case, suppose you have not been able to organize, you started writing the answer. By the time I have written one page, now I'm realizing, oh God, I have so much to write and I haven't written. It happens. That suddenly you will, you will understand the question. Oh, the question, there's so much to write in this. So if instead of then writing everything in detail, you can follow this. Whatever is, whatever, like you say, you put a bulletin in quality of, you have heard of bulletin. What is bulletin? The vote of thank, jab wo ye hota hai na, budget pay on all the items of the budget, when there is a voting, you know, when the grants are to be allotted, then all the items they cannot discuss. So a lot of time has gone in discussing some of the items. Baki bache items ko they put to vote all together. So that's what is bulletin. So here also, whatever you are left with, write all the points together in the last paragraph. Right? But put points. It's very important. Don't miss on anything. As many dimensions as there will be in your answers, appropriateness of content and dimensions will make you clear the exam. Okay? Or bohat jada top rank lane ke liye, best hone ke liye, just work on other areas also. But even if you develop good content with dimensions, you are there in the race. I can tell you that. You are there in the race. Done. So one more class I will be taking a like this a little bit more when I'll tell you about how to write introduction and conclusion. In the next class only we will do that. Okay. So let's start with now marks.